I'm saying now, give me her Becca too in 18. Let's show y'all. So what I want you to know about your stepdad, he has a lie on his neck. He got like Santa Claus. That's the equivalent of Santa Claus, a skinny Santa Claus sitting on a damn cross because Christ was a black man, right? Now, if Christ got shot with a shotgun, will you be wearing a shotgun around your damn neck? That made no sense. That was a Roman, that was a Roman capital punishment. Right. They used to kill millions of people with the cross. But because Christ died on a cross, people want to wear it on his on their neck. That's that made no sense. When you read, hold that. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 18. Read. What profit is the graven image uh -huh. that the maker thereof have graven it? Read. The molten image. So God said that's a molten image. Somebody had to make that. Read. And the teacher of lies. Hold up. It's a teacher of what? And a teacher of lies. It's called white supremacy. White supremacy is iconoclasm. You see the images of Mary and Christ? What color are they? Black, right? They look like you. But then the white man said, you know what? I want to paint them white. So now what they look like? This is the same picture. What do it look like now? They're like a white person, right? So what happens to Michael Jackson? When Michael Jackson was born, what do he look like? He look like that. I know you guys might be too young, right? But y'all know what I'm talking about. Michael Jackson, when he was young, he had a flow and everything, right? He looked like that. When he got Americanized, what do he look like? He turned into a white woman. What the hell? They made his nose all little in the hair. Uh, you know, they did the thing they do to the Egyptian statues. That's messed up. You said a white woman. Yeah. yeah. Man. Nah, nah, because they feminized him. They do that to everybody. Kyrie Irving said he's an Israelite. They, they blackballed him. They took his Nike contract. He said he was an Israelite. But now that he's a Muslim, it's good. He, he doing his Ramadan and making 45 buckets. Bring it out. But when he was an Israelite, they said, get that nigga out of uh, NBA. Come on, man. They do that to the football players, the basketball players, the wrestlers, entertainers, rappers, Kanye West. He said, he said, I'm an Israelite, right? He said, I'm a chosen person of God. He lost, I think it was like one point something billion dollars in one day. Yeah. You want to know why he lost that? That's called uh, castrating a man, cutting his, you know what I'm saying, in front of the public. Back in the day in slavery, they used to kill you right in front of your family. So they would kill you in front of the family so that they could learn white Jesus. Because now she already knows she don't have no husband no more. So guess who becomes her husband? The white man that runs the plantation. Right. Come on, y'all. We need y'all to subscribe to help us push. We got a lot of work to do in North Carolina. The Carolinas need this work. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Carolinas need this work. So we need y'all to go and subscribe right now. Grab your finger, this one right here in particular. Right. Swipe the YouTube that you're probably already watching. Click the YouTube app. Right. Go to IUIC Riley page. Right up under there, it says subscribe. Click that button one time. Click that check. Subscribe to IUIC Riley. How you doing, family? My brother, my brother. Uh, actually, which one of these is Yeah, hey, how you doing, family? Where y'all from, where y'all from first? Jersey. Jersey? Jersey? All right, all right, all right. What's your race, what's your race? You're black. All right, that's a color in the crayon box. What's your race? Black and Indian. Okay, black and Indian. Indian means servant, and black is a color, right? So watch this. We're here to teach our people the truth, that's all right? right? Because we've been lied to. Look, black people get their nationality changed every 10 years. Right. You're Negro, African-American, Afro-American. Afro-American is a hairstyle. Afro and then American. Come on, man. They change our nationality every 10 years. You want to know why? Because when you read the Bible, you see this one right here where it says Negro. Yeah. Judah is your biblical name. Christ came from Judah. The most famous man that ever walked the earth came from your tribe, right? Yes. From both of y'all tribes. So what do your kids look like? If 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 Judah is the Negroes and Christ came from Judah, what do they look like? They look like Christ. Bring it out. And we're going to read it right now for y'all. Let's get Revelation 1. Yes, sir. Watch this. We're going to read it in the Bible. This is in every Bible on the earth, all right? Yes, Before right. you read an Avengers book, uh, 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 a Wakanda book, or any of that. Because every time they kill our black uh, heroes in, in, in comics, they never come back. But Superman died a million times and come back. Oh, Watch this. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Read the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So it says the revelation. Revelation means to reveal. If I want to reveal what y'all look like to my wife, I have to tell her what I saw. I saw a black man with woolly hair with his three kids and his wife. She had pink earphones. You know what I'm saying? I got to say, I got to say what I saw. Watch this. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So God sent an angel. An angel don't lie. An angel can't lie because God made the angel to not to lie. Right? right? Read. Who bear record? Bear record means he wrote it down. Read. 
of the word of God Read. and of the testimony of Jesus Christ Read. and of all things that he saw. So what did John do? That he, what? that he saw. He used his eyeballs. He used his eyeballs to see what Christ looked like. So now we're going to read verse 12. Watch what he, verse 10 first. Verse 10, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. The Lord's day is the Sabbath. It's not Sunday. Sunday is Sunday worship. That's why you have a cross in your neck, because that comes from the Roman Catholic Church. Watch this. And heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Now I got a question. If you hear your dad's voice, right, and you're walking down, uh, then you're going down in the park, and you hear your dad's voice, are you going to turn around? You hear your dad's voice, would you turn around, right? If you hear your dad's voice yelling, would you turn around? You wouldn't turn around if your dad says, what's your name? Huh? Jada? Jalen? No, you heard Jada and I heard Jalen. Jalen, all right. So Jalen, so if you hear your dad say, Jalen, would you turn around? Yeah, right? So look what the Bible said about John when he heard Christ's voice. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. On the Sabbath. And I heard behind me a great voice. So he heard his, he heard his father's voice. Watch this. As of a trumpet, Read. saying, I'm Alpha and Omega. So John, the revelator, heard Christ say, I'm Alpha and Omega. So what did he do? He turned around. Read. The first and the last. Read. And what thou seest, write in a book. Hold on. What did he tell, what did he tell John to do? Whatever he sees, write in a book, right? So let's see what Christ looked like. Jump to 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it said Christ's hair and his hairs were white and then they were woolly. What people have woolly hair? Look, 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 I lost my woolly hair. You know, my people, they used to have woolly hair, but we got conquered by the Spaniards. So when the, when the, when the Mexican black man has sex with the white woman, then the baby starts losing their melanin, they start losing their woolly hair. So there's a lot of us having sex with the other nations in the Bible, when you read the Bible. That's why we don't have, a lot of us don't have that woolly hair. But if you go to Mexico, go deep in Mexico, you're going to find Mexicans that look like this. That's right. My uncles and them look like this. So what you got to realize is that the 12 tribes of Israel, we were all black with woolly hair. But let's see, let's see what the Bible says about Christ. That's white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, why do you think his eyes are red? You see the red in his eyes? Why do you think Christ had red eyes? Do you know? You know why Christ had red eyes? Do you know why Christ had red eyes? Do you know why Christ had red eyes? Okay, this is why we gotta teach our youth. Because they're gonna grow up thinking this is Jesus with blue eyes, with green eyes. But the Bible say he had red eyes. Let's see why he had red eyes. Genesis 49 and 12. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. Read. His eyes shall be red with wine. Hold on, what did Christ drink? With wine. Christ drank wine. When you read John, he was at a wedding and he turned water into what? Wine. All right. right, did he pour it out for his dead homies? No, he drank it. <laughs> He drank the thing, right? Watch this, read. Okay. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Christ had woolly hair like your children, read. As white as snow. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So when y'all get old, your hair is going to turn white like snow. All That's right, read. Right. And his feet. <laughs> she said she already gets some pieces up there. All right, well, watch this. <laughs> and his feet like unto fine bread. Now his feet, like if you take off your socks, the top of your foot looks like your face and your neck. All right, your arms, right, read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now brass is brown like a penny. If I put a penny on top of your hand, it's gonna blend in. You understand? Because you're brown like a penny. Watch this. As if they burned in a furnace. But he wasn't brown like you. He was brown like Tyrese. Nice. Or, or maybe your father. Your father's a little darker than you, right? This is your father? <laughs> it's not, oh. All right, what up? You, you know, who are you then? I gotta know, I gotta know. Stepfather. Stepfather, that's good, that's good. The Bible says be, <laughs> be a father to the fatherless. When somebody doesn't want to take care of their kids, it's good that a man steps up and, 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 and keeps the law of God. Right. All right, watch this, read. And his feet like a fine press, uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. So if you burn toast, what color is that? Brown? Okay, what happens if you burn rice? What color is that? Huh? Still brown? You guys don't burn it that much. If you burn it, burn it, it's gonna turn black. black. What color does it, what does popcorn turn when it, when it burns? Black. There you go. So black, so Christ was a black man. Now I want to show you something. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 7. Let's pretend you had the hoodie on, right? Put the hoodie on, put the hoodie on. I want to show you something before I read the scripture. Yeah, you got the hoodie on, put the hoodie on, right? When you, when you, you got a hoodie? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to do an experiment with y'all. I want to do an experiment with y'all, right? Got the hoodie on, right? A cop will see this and they, they get threatened. They like, yo, we got we to gotta, we gotta say that he stole something. Let, 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 matter of fact, let's arrest them. Let's check if they got drugs, right? But watch this. Now take the hoodie off. I want to show you why you're supposed to take the hoodie off. Watch this. Second, uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 7. 
1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 7. Read. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. You shouldn't cover your head. Read. For as much as he is the image and glory of God. It said, don't cover your head because you look like Christ. That's right. When you walk down the damn street, you look like Christ. That's why they kill us in the street. That's why they're, they're scared of us. The FBI said the worst thing in the world, the, the biggest threat for America is black unity. Right. Because they see you as gods. That's Let's get right. that in Psalms. Let's get that in Psalms. I want to show y'all. When you watch movies like Dragon or shows like Dragon Ball Z, you ever watch Dragon Ball Z? You ever watch like movies like or cartoons like Spider-Man, Superman, Thor, and all that? Well, you know where they get their inspiration from? The Bible. That's right. The that. Bible talks about things like that. Brothers being able to teleport. Christ was even able to teleport instant transmission through people. You know what I'm saying? When you read the Bible, you read Habakkuk, it says he got balls of light flying out of his hands. That's Dragon Ball Z. Right. Every time you watch Dragon Ball Z, they're shooting balls of light out of their hands. You go, you see that they take inspiration out of our book. But the first thing they try to hide from y'all is that Christ looked like your kids. That's Christ looked right. like you. Eve looked like her. That's right. They don't want to teach you that. Watch what the Bible says. Read. Psalms 82 and verse 6. Read. I have said ye are God. So you guys are God. That's, That's why you're right. the best at any sport. Who the best of football players? There you go. You guys run the best. You guys tackle everybody, right? Who the best boxers? Mayweather. What Mayweather look like? He look like you, right? right? Right. So you got you got all the athletes on the on the planet. Best track women. They they black from uh, in Brazil, which are black. You got you got um uh Nigeria. All those places where our people are scattered. We the best athletes, right? Watch this. I have said, you are God. Go ahead. And all of you are children of the Most High. They are the children of God. We have to teach them that. They're not black. That's a color in a crayon box. They literally open a box, pull out a crayon, and it says black. They're not black. That's a color. These are Israelites from the tribe of Judah. That's, That's right. a very important thing. I'm going to show you why. Give me that Proverbs 29 and 18. I want to show you something. When 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 they saw us coming back during the, uh, the 1960s, when we were fighting for our rights with Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, right? The woman was being killed or dogs were being sent on her or water hose down at the same time as the black man, right? Because y'all were together, right? Today, the woman says, I don't need no Negro. I'm independent. Because Beyonce said, you could be independent. You know what I'm saying? But she married to Jay-Z. How the hell are you independent, but you married to a man? You know what I'm saying? So they're pushing this, this doctrine in the world that our women don't need black men. But all the other races can marry their husbands. But black men don't need no black woman, or black women don't need no black men. They give her EBT, they give her Section 8, as long as she don't have you in the house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's some crazy stuff. Watch what the Bible says, read. Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18. Read. Where there is no vision. The vision is the Bible. Where your kids can't see themselves in the Bible, read. The people perish. So when a black child cannot see himself in the Bible as Christ, Solomon, David, Moses, right? Paul, when they don't see themselves as those men, what happened? Where there is no vision, the people perish. What happens in the black community? The people perish. What happens in the Mexican community? The people perish. What about in a Native American's reservation? The people perish. That's why we drunks, we drug addicts. That's why we go to religion after religion after religion. And we give them our money, we get poorer and poorer, and nothing happens in our community. Right. Because they don't have no solutions. The solutions is the Bible. That's the right. Bible is the solution. Now I want to show you about this damn cross that you got Bring in there. Up. Give me Isaiah 30 and verse 22. Now watch this. No, no. You can keep the chain. The chain is fire. But that damn cross, I'm going to show you what the Bible says to do with it. And this is what you're supposed to do in front of your kids. These are your stepkids, right? That's right. And this is your wife. Watch what the Bible says. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 22. Ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images. Uh, that's a graven image. Somebody had to draw that. They stayed behind a chair and they started carving a white Jesus on top of a cross. Watch this. Ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver. Okay, it might be a silver. And the ornament of thy molten images of gold. It might be gold, right? I don't know how much you paid for it. Watch this. Thou shalt cast them away. It says you should cast it away, meaning throw it away. Read. As a mistress claw. Mistress claws means like a tampon. When she's on her menstrual, do you go grab it out the damn trash can and put it on your neck? Do you grab a little string tied up and then you hang it around your neck? No. God says that is equivalent to a menstrual cloth around your neck because it don't help your people. Right. How many rappers have crosses around their neck and get shot down at 15, 16 years old in the hood? Bring it out. How many, how many rappers have that big image of white Jesus, all right, with gold and diamonds all over their, over their neck? You know what I'm saying? Now give me Habakkuk 2 and 18. Let's show y'all. So what I want you to know about your stepdad, he has a lie on his neck. 
he got like Santa Claus. That's the equivalent of Santa Claus, skinny Santa Claus sitting on a damn cross. Because Christ was a black man, right? Now, if Christ got shot with a shotgun, will you be wearing a shotgun around your damn neck? That made no sense. That was a Roman, that was a Roman capital punishment. Right. They used to kill millions of people with the cross. But because Christ died on a cross, people want to wear it on his on their neck. That's that made no sense. When you read, hold that. Give me Revelations 1 and 10, just so I can show you. This is the symbol of Christ. You see this? When you read the Bible, this is supposed to be an angel in every fire. This is supposed to be an example of the heavenly things. So let's see what it says in the Bible. Let me see what Christ's symbol is. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 10. Find me a great voice of a trumpet, uh -huh. saying I am Alpha and Omega, read. the first and the last. He said, I'm Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Read. And what thou seest, write in a book. Now jump to 12. Let's see what he wrote. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. Read. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. No, he saw a cross. I saw seven golden candlesticks. You sure it wasn't a Roman cross? I saw seven golden candlesticks. So if you at home and you want to get a menorah, not that Jewish garbage that they give us nine candlesticks. The Bible says seven because they represent the seven angels. So if you want to have a symbol at home, you don't have to bow down to it. But you want to have a, a menorah at the house, that's fine. That goes into Hanukkah, right? So we, 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 we read the Bible and we don't ever read about the cross. But watch what it says about graven images. Go to Habakkuk 2 and 18. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 18. Read. What profit if the graven image uh -huh. that the maker thereof have graven it? Read. The molten image. So God said that's a molten image. Somebody had to make that. Read. And the teacher of lies. Hold on. It's a teacher of what? And a teacher of lies. It's called white supremacy. White supremacy is iconoclasm. You see the images of Mary and Christ? What color are they? Black, right? They look like you. But then the white man said, you know what? I want to paint them white. So now what they look like? This is the same picture. What do it look like now? They're like a white person, right? So what happens to Michael Jackson? When Michael Jackson was born, what did he look like? He looked like that. I know you guys might be too young, right? But y'all know what I'm talking about. Michael Jackson, when he was young, he had a fro and everything, right? He looked like that. When he got Americanized, what he look like? He turned into a white woman. What the hell? They made his nose all little in the hair. Uh, you know, they did the thing they do to the Egyptian statues. That's messed up. You said a white woman. Yeah. yeah. Man. Nah, nah, because they feminized him. They do that to everybody. Kyrie Irving said he's an Israelite. They, they blackballed him. They took his Nike contract. He said he was an Israelite. But now that he's a Muslim, it's good. He, he doing his Ramadan and making 45 buckets. Bring it out. But when he was an Israelite, they said, get that nigga out of uh, NBA. Yeah, Come on, man. They do that to the football players, the basketball players, the wrestlers, entertainers, rappers, Kanye West. He said, he said, I'm an Israelite, right? He said, I'm a chosen person of God. He lost, I think it was like one point something billion dollars in one day. Yeah. You want to know why he lost that? That's called uh, castrating a man, cutting his... You know what I'm saying? In front of the public. Back in the day in slavery, they used to kill you right in front of your family. So they would kill you in front of the family so that they could learn white Jesus. Because now she already knows she don't have no husband no more. So guess who becomes her husband? The white man that runs the plantation. Right, right. So now he tells them that Christ looked like him. That's so right. what are your kids going to grow up and teach their kids that Jesus looked like them? So what it is, is now you can read. Now you had the ability to teach your kids the truth. Right. Now it's your choice to tell them Santa Claus is real and lie to them and be a liar and then tell them they can't lie to you. Cause how hell, are you a hypocrite if you tell them not to lie, but then you tell them Jesus is white. Right. Cause you a damn liar. You tell them Santa Claus is real. You a liar, but you're telling them not to lie. So when they when they grab something out their room and you be like, who took it? And you know he lying. Don't get mad at him. You should get mad at yourself because you a liar too. You know what I'm saying? He's just following after you. So what you what we're trying to do out here, right? We're trying to show them that they're they're they are the gods yes. of the earth. They're the yeah. greatest things on the earth. That's right. And that's gonna help them become something. Right. Because guess what? We need doctors in our community. That's right. You ever heard of Black Wall Street? Yeah. All right, we they had, uh, have you ever heard of the Red Summer? All right, the Black Wall Street was a place in OKC, right? Where they had doctors, everything. They had uh, bookstores, they had everything there for black people, right? They had this thing called the Red Summer. Basically, they went around the whole United States and they started destroying all the black cities. Everything that had beauty in it, they destroyed it. They That's bombed right. it from helicopters. Who do you think did that? The white man. The white man. Now, it's not to be Bring racist. It it's to be truthful. Right. Because if I talk about Alexander the Great, Alexander the Great was murdering black people all on that side of the world. 
He wasn't. He wasn't asking them to be part of his army. Right. He was killing them. So when you talk about somebody and it starts getting gruesome, you don't have to say someone's racist because it's just the truth. Right. Like when we talk about Hitler, people get mad and say we're anti-Jewish. We're you know we, we we hate Jewish people. No, Hitler was killing Jewish people, right? That's just history. I'm just saying it. Why are you gonna get mad at me? But if we talk about like we talk about um slavery, you know, in, in school they're not teaching slavery anymore. No. You ever heard of this? Have you ever seen this in your books at school? Look, look at them. They said no. Have you ever seen this at school? No. You have, nope. They took it out. They took it out. You want to know why they took it out? You ever seen Lion King? You ever seen Lion King? What's Lion King about? Let's see. Let's see if you get it. The circle of life. The circle of life. That's what she caught out of it. What did you guys catch out of, uh, out of Lion King? What did you like about Lion King? Who's your favorite characters in Lion King? What you got? The sun? Simba? Okay, what about you? The king? You you like Mufasa? Okay, anybody like the monkey? Anybody like the, you like the baboon? The baboon, he was a prophet. He was, remember he was on a tree? He figured out everything, he's a prophet. All right, what about the, 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 the pig? And the little, the little guy, Kuda, uh, uh, Timon and Pumbaa. Anybody like Timon and Pumbaa? You know who Timon and Pumbaa was? They found him. They found him, and they put him on the on the pig, and then they raised them together. What, what did lions start eating? Why he start eating bugs and he a lion? Mm, bring it out. Because he started being with his friends, right? His friends were Timon and Pumbaa, right? So watch this. I'm gonna tell you what the movie's about. Look, look, he's like, ooh. <laughs> I got a question. You ever ate a shrimp? You ever ate shrimp? You ever ate shrimp? Yeah. Shrimp is a bug. Did you know that? Yeah, it's a bug that lives in the ocean. It just lives in a different environment, but it's a bug. What about a lobster? A lobster is a roach. That's right. That's fine. You ever laid, ate a lobster, red lobster, have you ever went there? That's a bug. So look, y'all are the lions. Christ, look, Christ uh, is the from the tribe of Judah, the lion of the tribe of Judah, right? That's right. I know y'all didn't know, but it's fine, it's fine. You ever watch that movie? What's the movie that just came out? Um. Well, he ate the bug. Oh, Aquaman. You seen the new Aquaman movie? Yeah. Okay, remember he, the little roach walked around and he said, he grabbed a roach, he said, he said, hey. And he ate it and he, they all started laughing. But I remember in the movie, everybody was like, ew, ew, he ate the roach, right? And what did the guy say on the movie? He said, oh, that's just a, a shrimp of the sea. That's all he said. Cause the Aquaman came from the ocean and they eat shrimp. So when he got on land, he ate the roach, and then the guy told him, it's the same thing as eating the damn shrimp in the ocean. The white man knows that you're eating damn shrimp and cockroaches, right. but he not gonna tell you that, because he wants you to live that Akuta Matata life. Right. You know what yeah. Akuta Matata means? There is no worries for the rest of your days, <laughs> but you can get shot in the damn street by a police officer. Yeah. You can eat red lobster when you want. You can have sex with whoever you want. Live as much as you want. YOLO, you only live once, right? That's what Akuta Matata is. Um, that movie's based on you. That's and I want to show you this. You remember the part when the baboon, you said you like the baboon. Remember when he told him, I know where your father is? Why he tell him that? Um, I think he told him that because he's in, like, reflection. Like, Ooh, okay, I like that, I like that. So where did he make him go look? He made him look in the water. Okay, okay, me Ephesians 5, 26. Now watch this, watch this. You are heavy. I, I like that. You you picked the good one. You picked the good one. Now she got now she got to start keeping the commandments. You got to start keeping the commandments. Y'all gonna have a beautiful family in the Bible. Watch this. Ephesians chapter five and verse twenty six. Read that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water. Water by the word. So the word of God is the water. That's right. So you're supposed to be able to look in this Bible and look and see your father, like Simba did. Simba looked in the water. He didn't see himself. So he got sad. The baboon hit him in the head, said, look at the water again. He looked at the water again, he saw his father, right? That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to hit you with that damn stick like that baboon did. We're trying to hit you in the head and tell you, look, when you read this Bible, you come from the tribe of Judah. That's right. That's right. You come from the lineage of Christ. You're supposed to be able to see this book and say, damn, this is me. I run the damn, the whole uh, pride rock. Because remember when he got the kingdom at the end, after Scar died, what happened to everybody on the earth? What happened to all the animals? They all cheered for him, right? They were all happy. Why were they all happy? Why were the animals happy when uh, when when uh, Simba got the throne? Because Scar had the hyenas, right? 
The hyenas were eating wherever the hell they wanted. They were killing everybody. Everything looked bad. So uh, when you read the Bible, it says, what's that, Proverbs 29 and 2? Yes, sir. Watch this. We're going to read it. We're going to read it. This is Scar and Simba. When Simba's in power, let's see what happens. And when Scar's in power, let's see what happens. Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, when black men that love God are in authority, we're ruling the earth, the people rejoice. The animals rejoice. When Simba got the throne, everybody was happy. All the little mouses, elephants, everything was happy. Why? Because righteous men know how to rule the earth. We don't rape other nations. We pay them when they work for us. They don't do that for us. That's why the wicked are in power right now. Read. But when the wicked bears rule, when Scar led the world, the people mourn. What happened to Pride Rock? It became desolate. Right. What happened to Jerusalem when the real Israelites left? Because we can go to Jerusalem, me and you right now with your family. What's over there? Nothing. Fighting, war, destruction. Why? Because the real Israelites are not over there. That's right. Simba is over here in America. We over here, black people in America. We supposed to be at Pride Rock, which is Jerusalem. But we not over there. You want to know why? Because we got scattered through slavery. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. So what we want to show y'all is that y'all y'all are special in the Bible. Right. Did y'all know y'all were the greatest thing on earth? Bring it out. Did you know that? When you watch movies, do they make you the best the best actor in there? Or do they make you the bad guy in the movies? When you see movies about black characters, are they bad guys or are they good guys? Right, I'll give you an example. Spider-Man. What color is Spider-Man? No, what, what's his face? What's his face? He's a white boy, right? What about Superman? He's white. All right, what about Santa Claus? What color is he? All right, what about Christ? Look, he's a white again. Even though we taught him that he's black, it's fine because we know that that lie has been stuck in him. Let me get Jeremiah 1 and 10 real quick. Watch this. I, I want to show you what we're doing. Y'all actually getting baptized. You know when Christians want to get baptized in the world and they get in the water and they get dipped and they come out and they still whores and they still crackheads and they still uh, uh, going to clubs on Fridays. They still giving money to their pastors. Let's see what the Bible says. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. Read. See, I have, I have this day set thee over the nation. God made the Israelites to be over all races. To do what? And over the kingdoms. And to over all the kings of the earth. Read. To root out. We're supposed to root out. And to pull down. And we're supposed to pull down what? White Jesus, Buddha, all the damn lies in the world. Because all of those places are idols. That's why our people bug the hell out. They wear pants. Our women are wearing, are dressing like men. Our, our little boys are changing their sex. Our, our men are selling drugs in our neighborhood. We have religions in every neighborhood, but we're the poorest in the world. How the hell is that? You know what I'm saying? Read. And to destroy. Go ahead. And to throw down. God said we dare to destroy. What are we trying to destroy? We're trying to take, take that damn cross, cross off. But what you do? What you do? You you like, ah. You want to know why? I got a question. Did you buy that or was that a gift? You bought it? All right, so I got a question. The scripture says, why gain the whole world and lose your soul? Is your soul worth a cross? Nah, so you would throw it away, right? What about being a good example, being a good father to the kids? Wouldn't you want, do you want them to learn that white people are better than them? I'm just being honest. You, nah, because God didn't say that. I'll give you one example. Deuteronomy 7 and 6 real quick before we finish that. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I like you got the little stick. I'm going to show you about the little stick. That, you know how they made that cross? They started off with a stick. That's how it started. That white Jesus, that white lie, read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Bible says blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans were the holy people of God. Right, read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Y'all are special. That means you can't eat the same thing Chinese people eat. Because they eat octopuses. They eat rat. You guys like to eat rat. Your mama cook rat for you on the weekends. No. God said we're not supposed to be eating that. Read. Right. Above all people, the, that above are, all what? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Chinese man, he lives on the earth, right? The Arab lives on the earth. They be blowing themselves up with C4. That's you're special compared to them. Does that feel good? Does that feel good that you're special, right? But they tell you you're black. That's not special. That's a color in their crayon box. So you guys are Israelites. Yes, what tribe are you from? You can go look at it. Which one are you? One through twelve. Look, it's twelve right there. Which one are you? You can point to it. Let's see if you got it. Let's see if you got it. This one says black American Negroes. This one says Indian, right? 
Which one are you? You're this one, right? There you go. So Judah. Judah is the tribe that you come from. That's, That's right. a beautiful thing, man. Now I got a question. That that white man on your neck, does he come from Judah? How you know you're white? Look at his hair. Look at his hair. Just let your wife look at it. She got better eyes. You still got the glasses on, man. She trying to help you out. Let you do it. Hey, trust me. My wife got glasses on. I be, had, I be having to help my wife out all the time. It's all right. Well, what do he look like? Does he got a big nose? He got, he got, he got the woolly hair, the fro on there. Stringy hair. He got stringy hair, right? He look like Beyonce or something with the string, fake stringy hair. So watch this, watch this. I want to show you in the scriptures. Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 12, I think. You don't got it? Yes, sir. You got it. Yes, all sir. praises, man. All praises. Don't let me go. Now, I want you this time. You see the little stick you got? Let's read that in the Bible. I want to show you something cool. It's not, it's not good, but it's cool because when I read it, I was like, oh, I didn't know that was in the Bible. Read. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. And after spending the... Start at 11, start at 11. Verse 11. Now a carpenter that fell of timber after he has sawn down a great meat for the purpose and taken off the, the, all the bark. So it says he saw down a tree. So he cut down a tree and then he took the bark off of it. Right, Reed? Skillfully round about. Go ahead. And hath wrought and handsomely and made a vessel thereof fit for the service of a man's life. So it says when people make cups back in the day, right? They used to cut down a tree and then carve a cup and then they would drink out of that wooden cup, right? Watch this. And after spending the refuse of his work to dress this meat, right. hath filled himself. So he made food and he got food, right? And taken the very refuse among those which served to no use. That's a piece of wood. Be a crooked piece of wood. Hold on, what is this? What is it? Okay, but what did the Bible call it? A crooked piece of wood. Is that a straight piece of wood or is it crooked? It's crooked, right? It has different little little curves to it, right? Read. And full of knots. And full of what? And full of knots. Look, it has knots, right? Read. Hath carved it diligently. Hold on, what did the, the, the bad guy do? Hath carved it diligently. He carved it, right? Read. When he had nothing else to do. When he was bored. People make idols when they're bored. That on your neck is somebody was bored. And they said, you know what? Let's make a white Jesus instead of a black Jesus. I read. And formed it by the skill of his understanding. So hold on. What's the skill of a white man's understanding? To make Jesus look like him. Right. When you read right. about Alexander the Great, he said people at his time will worship him. You're worshiping him as Christ. Right. When you read when you read about uh, like Donald Trump, he says, I'm a Roman. Why does Donald Trump call himself a Roman? Because he knows who he is in the Bible. He can go in the water and figure out that he's the enemy of God. But when you read the Bible, you can't see Mufasa. You can't see the black Messiah. You only see your reflection. You're like, man, I'm just a black man. Let me keep moving. The Bible's for Israelites. It's not for me. But you're an Israelite. Right. So if you see yourself as an Israelite, you'll be able to read the Bible better. Right? Watch this. And fasten it to be the image of a man. Hold on, hold on. The image of a what? The image of a man. So somebody grabbed this piece of wood. They carved it really good. And then they made a rose, a rosary. You ever heard of rose beads? The Catholic Church, that's where black men get the damn cross. Y'all get it from Catholic churches. And y'all be talking about, right. I'm a Christian. I'm a Baptist. I'm a, I'm a Seven Day Adventist. Look, that's what I'm telling you. Because you're wearing a Catholic cross in it. You're not supposed to be doing that, my brother. You're better than that. Watch this. Oh, uh, let me get the picture of the, of the, look at this. Look at this guy. He's the Catholic. He's the Pope, right? That's right. He's the Pope. What does he have on his head? A big hat, right? Look at the hat right here. It was called Dagon in the Bible. They got the same hat. You want to know why they got the same hat? Get that scripture in Psalms where it says they, they search diligently. Yes, sir. Watch this, watch this. I'm going to show you something. Now, look at all these images right here, right? They got all white images of saints, of angels. All right? So, so they do all that. This is lies. These are all lies. All right? They put a white baby Jesus. That's a lie. All right? So we got to figure out if this is okay or if it's not okay. Do you guys think it's okay to have this? What? Is it okay to have bad stuff? No. 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 Okay, okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's read it. Psalm chapter 64, verse 6. Let me see. Let me see. You were God. You were God. I want to see. Verse 5. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. It says the other nations encourage themselves in an evil matter. Read. They commune the blade snares privily. What's a snare? Do you guys know what a snare is? A snare is a trap. What do they call black people's neighborhoods? The what? 
track right. or the ghetto or the projects, right? right? So God says they lay uh, traps for you, read. They say, who shall see them? That white man says, who's gonna know that we put crack in the black man's neighborhood? Who's gonna know that we put crack in the damn Native Americans reservation? That's read? right. They search out iniquities. They search out sins, look, cause that's a sin of ancient Babylon. So now the Catholic Pope is doing the same damn thing. Christmas is a Babylonian holiday. You know that, right? Did you know that? She said no. You can watch, you ever watch the Boondocks? You ever watch the Boondocks? If you watch the Boondocks, he told you that Christmas was a pagan holiday. You gotta watch that episode, it's a good episode. I know it says some bad words in there, but when you watch the show, he literally tells you that Christmas is an ancient pagan day about having sex with boys. Men having sex with Bring boys. Bring it up. And you celebrating with your kids, giving them presents. Come on, man. You know who used to be the presents? They used to be presents to the, to the white man. That's right. right. So we don't need to be celebrating that. Now watch this, watch this. Who's this guy? You don't know who he is, right? You know, his name was Peter. And they beat him right before Christmas and then sold his family into slavery. So what would our people do during, during Christmas and slavery? They would get what? They were getting sold on the slavery, but now we give our kids presents. You want to know why the white man wants us to give presents out to our kids? Give me please, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. You know what I want. Watch this. I want to show you, you like presents? Yeah, we're going to finish that, and then we're going to get this. They search out iniquities. They search out sins. They accomplish a diligent search. They search out the evils that other nations used to do. That's why they're always digging in Egypt. Why the white man always over there with the little brush? Oh, guess what? They used to ball their heads. Is that biblical? No, he's the best guy in boxing because he likes to shave off his damn head, right? Don't he like to shave off? Who's the best basketball player with a bald head? Hmm. Michael who? Oh, I don't know. No, basketball, James. basketball. LeBron James. No, no, back in the day, back in the day. <laughs> they just say back in the day. <laughs> Michael Jordan. What his head look like? They were shiny as hell, right? That's when he was right. a space jam, his head was shiny as hell, right? Yeah, that's right. Remember they, they grabbed the thing? They made him into a little ball. You, you watch the show. I watched it back in the day too. Watch this. They accomplish a diligent search. Read. Both deep and we're thought of every one of them. And the heart is deep. They're deep. They have a deep, they, they figure out how to keep you in slavery for hundreds of years. It's That's called right. Willie Lynch letters. If you ever read the Willie Lynch letters, they figured out if you, if you battle, if you put people against each other according to color, according to hairstyle, according to facial features, right? They'll hate each other for millennia, hundreds of years, 200 years, 300 years. He knew that. Why does, why does the black woman always get mad at the light-skinned woman? Why is it, oh, my hair better than your hair? Because the Willie Lynch already taught us that in slavery. Right. Right. So now we got that hatred. A Latino girl goes into school and a black girl goes into school. They the same people. But when they start hating on each other. They both look good, but they want to go against each other. So watch what the Bible says. Let's go to the other one. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. This is why your parents, you ever give your, parents, your kids gifts for Christmas? All right, watch this. Let's see what he did to y'all. Truly oppression make it a wise man mad. God says oppression should piss you off. That's why you should throw the cross away. Because your people were getting killed. They hung us on trees and they had that damn cross around their neck. They raped all women in front of you and they had that damn cross around their neck. And they, they raped the men and they had that cross around their neck. That's right. And you still got it around your damn neck. I will take it off because it's like changing your name. When they give you the word, the name Johnson, Ramirez, Hernandez, whatever, right? That's when they used to brand us with metal. You know that, right? They used to brand us, right? Now you just have it on your damn passport. Now you have it on your driver's license. They branded it on a piece of park card and said, look, this brother, he belongs to Mr. Johnson. What's your last name? Johnson, James Johnson. That's a white man's name. You know that, right? So what are you going to do to your name? God said you're supposed to change your name back to Israelites. Israelite name. What are you supposed to do to a cross? You're supposed to throw that junk away like a mistress claw. I know you said, you said it's hard, right? It's hard. Is it hard? Is it hard to throw it away? It took me a long way, bro. It took you, it took you a long way, what? Yeah. Is it hard to take off a cross, though? No, it's not hard. Okay, watch this. So, if you found out that you, that somebody made that, like, you could go back in history and see them making it, and they're raping nothing but black people over there, and they're killing them. Would you take it off if you got to see it? Yeah. You're supposed to be able to see it in the Bible, What's man. What's that? The Bible is your history book. You're that supposed was, to be able to look in the Bible uh, and say, damn. A lot of people don't hey, even people did get raped by this damn cross. Her, she hasn't responded. They did give, look, look, look. Let me, uh, do they have the Zulu picture of the slavery? Uh, what the hell is this? But remember when the I know nobody know what I'm came, talking about. You're leaving me on the island by myself. What did they give the I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Didn't have to class. Yeah, I knew what you're talking about. My people got burnt alive. 
in America, they got their hands chopped off if they didn't give them enough gold. Bring it up. And you think I'm going to worship a white Jesus on the cross? You think I should tell my black brother from the tribe of Judah that he's supposed to have a damn white man around his neck? Go ahead, go ahead. I like this. Go ahead. I'm not worshiping a white Jesus. I'm worshiping. Worshiping my Jesus. Okay, what color? When you close your eyes, what Jesus look like? Black. Right. He's just like me. He's black, just like you. Yep. All right, all right. So if your mama was, a, your mama's black, yep. and your daddy's black, right? Yep. All right. In your wallet, would you carry pictures of white, two white, a white woman and a white man? Say, hey, I know my mom and dad are black, but yep. these are supposed to be my mama and my, my daddy. Head. But the thing is, is what my head sees. I got you. What? I got you. What your head sees. You see your dad and your mom is black every time you close your eyes, yep. right? But I then see. you show your kids that two white people in your wallet. And you say, this is my mom and my daddy. Is that a good image to show your kids about what your mom and your dad look like? Because they can't go in your head, right? <laughs> they can't go in your head. Bring it up. So whatever, hey, look, watch this. I'm going to show you something. Right. Give me that in Matthew 6, uh, 5, where it says, whatever's in your heart, uh, your mouth speaks. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Because they can't go inside your head. That's fine. I understand. In your head, you know you're black. You know you worship a black God. That's good. But the Bible says where your heart is, right, where your treasure is, your heart will also be. Right? You got it? 12 and 32. 12 and 32. Right. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Matthew 12. Sir. Matthew chapter 12 and verse 34. Oh, generation of vipers, how can you being evil speak good things? So I said, how are you being evil? Like, be honest. The Bible says you can tell a good tree from a bad tree according to its fruits. So if you see a tree of mangoes, you can be like, man, that's a mango tree, right? If you see a tree of apples, you can be like, that's an apple tree. That's good. That's good. So trees, you're supposed to be able to tell what they are. So if I look at you and you got guns on you and you smoking weed, I'm like, man, you're not a good guy because of what you look on the outside. Your appearance matters. So even though in your head you're a good guy, in your head you wouldn't hurt a fly. But outside you look like you're gonna kill me with a damn six, you know, a nine millimeter. And you got tattoos and, drug and drugs in your mouth. I'm be like, I'm about to walk this way. He might get me. He might steal my chain. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Whole generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak of good things? Go ahead. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Now, sister, this is the this is the man you chose, right? It says, out of the what? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Whatever's in his mind, that's what's going to come out his lips. So if he's an adulterer, a fornicator, guess what he's going to do with his homeboys? Hey, man, that girl got a fatty over there. Da -da -da -da. He's going to be talking about it because whatever's in here is going to come out of your mouth, right? So in there. What color is Jesus in your brain? All right, what scripture in the Bible says he's black? We just read it earlier, right? Right, 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 right. But you don't have the you don't have the ability right now to teach it. Because even though it's in your head, you're supposed to be able to let it come out your lips. Right. Because that's why Christ said, if you don't confess me on the earth, he won't confess you in front of the Father, right? So how can you have a false, give me Matthew 24 and 24. Yes, sir. You got a false image of Jesus on your neck, but you want everybody to believe that you believe in white and black Jesus, right? That made no sense. Watch this. I'm going to show you. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 24. Imagine if I said I love women and I had two boys kissing on my neck. Hey, two men kissing on my neck. There you go. There you go. Just the cross. The, ne the necklace is good. Yeah, the necklace. There's no sin in the necklace. The cross is, is the bad thing, my brother. It's fine. It's fine. You want to throw the whole thing away? No. So you can't put it in your pocket. That's what the Bible says. Say, cast it away. You're supposed to throw it away like a cigarette. What would you do if you had a cigarette and your kid saw you smoking a cigarette? You would throw it on the ground and step on it, right? Because you don't want them to see you doing something evil that kills you, gives you cancer. That right there is going to give you cancer. How? Not regular cancer, but cancer up here where you think it's okay for them to marry white women. Is it okay for him to marry a white woman? Okay, where does it say that in the Bible? And uh, racist. No, this is what does it say race. in the Bible. Uh -huh. Does it say it in the Bible? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Yes, sir. Now, I want to show you. If he marries a white woman and he got to go to work almost all the time, right? And his wife is taking care of his white woman is taking care of his chi children, right? What's she going to teach his children? The white stuff. White stuff. Alexander the Great. Uh, 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 Santa Claus. You know what I'm saying? White Jesus. Because she is definitely not going to teach him that Jesus is black. Right. Because what did her parents teach her? That Jesus is white. So watch what the Bible says about that law. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. Read. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Neither shall you marry the other nations. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. You can't give your son, your daughter to a, a, another race. 
nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. He can't grab a daughter of another race and give it to your son. For they will turn away thy son from following me. Hold on, what did it say? They will what? They will turn away thy son from following me. You want to know why? Because you're supposed to keep the Sabbath day holy. Today's the Sabbath. What would a white girl do if, if she was married to him? Hey, man, we're going shopping this Saturday. We're going to go out and see my parents, and we're going to do this, and we're going to eat uh, pig and, and whatever the hell we want to eat because we rule the earth. And it, hey, I have black friends. Matter of fact, my husband is black. Let's go this way. That's what the white woman's going to do. And he's not going to be keeping any damn laws. So what happens is God said we all are supposed to marry our own race. The white man is supposed to marry his race. Chinese man is supposed to be marrying his race. The black man is supposed to be marrying his race. But guess what the good thing about black people? I can't think of my cousin. Say that again. Oh, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Say that again. I like my... Let's get that in Tobit. No, no, no. Say that. You couldn't picture what? That's good. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if that's biblical. Because remember, I said you picked the good one, right? I said you picked the good one. Let's see if that's biblical. She got a mind after God. Read. Tobit chapter 4 and verse 12. Read. Beware of all whoredom, my son. God says beware of whoredom. Whoredom means fornication against God. Read. And chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy father. Hold on. Take a wife of what? The seed of thy father. Hold on, what does it say? Take a wife after what? The seed of thy father. You, you pick the woman after the seed of your father. That's good, my brother. Watch this. And take not a strange woman to wife. Don't take a what? Take not a strange woman to wife. Just in case you don't know what a strange woman is, 1 Kings 11. Let's see what Solomon, you know who Solomon is? What do you have? He had a lot of women, right? He had a lot of women. Let's see what kind of women he had. And, and what he look like? Hey, hey what, what Solomon look like? Sis, what Solomon look like? I'm gonna help you out, cause you in the spirit. What Solomon, Solomon look like? Right. So you know what Solomon look like? Let's read it. Song of Solomon, chapter one and verse five. Uh -huh. I am black. Hold on, what did Solomon say? I am black. Solomon, King Solomon, right? King David, King Solomon, they were both black. So, and what? But comely and beautiful. What people say I'm black and beautiful? She know it. She knows she be in the mirror and be like, man, I'm black and beautiful. Because our women know that they bad. They're the baddest things on earth. That's right. They, don't, they can do their hair whatever way they want. Of course, because they put product in it, it, it dies off. But our women are not supposed to be putting that. They're supposed to put natural stuff and then they, the, their hair is gonna uh, curl up with the sun. The sun gives their hair energy and all that good stuff, right? You know how people talk. But anyways, they have, they have natural beauty. Watch what the Bible says, read. First Kings chapter 11 and verse 1. Now this is for you about the strange woman. But, so but King Solomon loved many strange women. King Solomon had a fetish. He would see a Chinese woman and be like, ooh, I wonder what she like. Oh, look at that white girl over there. I wonder what she like. Oh, look at that Arab over there. What she look like? Watch this. This is the last scripture for your husband, read. The daughter of Pharaoh. The daughter of Pharaoh are Egyptians, Africans. So, so you're not supposed to marry an African because Africans are not Israelites. The real Africans, the people that had you in slavery with Moses, they're not your people. They sold, remember when they say black people sold black people? Africans sold Israelites into slavery. That's right. It wasn't Israelites selling Israelites. It was Africans selling Israelites, right? That's Reed? right. Woman of the Moabites, Ammonites, okay. Edomites. Now Moabites is the Chinese. Read next. Slow. Ammonites. Ammonites are the Japanese, right? Read. Edomites. And white girls. Solomon had white girls, bro. Did you know that? You didn't know that. I know you didn't know that. So let's see what God said about him having all these different nations as wise. Sidonians and Hittites. Uh, Africans. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel. Read. Ye shall not go into them, neither shall they come into you. Read. For surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. So, so my question for you, because I know your parents are talking. What did it say if you marry another nation? They shall turn you what? They shall turn away your heart after their gods. So remember, Solomon, he was rich, right? He made idols, he made mountains where people worship Buddha, where we, people wish, uh, worship why, Zeus, Jupiter. Back then they weren't called Jupiter and Zeus, but he made white gods for white white women that he married. That's right. He made Chinese gods for Chinese women he married. You know what I'm saying? Japanese gods for Japanese women he married. So what happens when your children marry other nations? They gonna have idols at their house. They have crosses around their damn neck. You gotta throw away that damn cross, my brother. I'm telling you, that's gonna help you. It's gonna show love to your children. Because the more you hold on to that image, the more you hold on to it, the more you're telling them that they don't matter. They do matter, right? right. You love your people? 
why you got an image of people that killed your people. That made no sense, man. You should throw every, if you had uh, Britney Spears on your goddamn wall, you should rip that shit off the wall. You wanna know why? Because she's an other nation and she hates your people. You know what I'm saying? Even though you might feel like, no, she's nice to, she's a nice white girl. That's right. I got a question. Is there nice white people on earth? Yeah. Yeah? All right. When they give you back 40 acres in the mule, which white, which white person gave you 40 acres in the mule? None. None. So there ain't no damn nice white people. That's you wanna know right. why? Because even the ones that, that try to treat us nice, they're never gonna tell you that you're an Israelite. They're never gonna give you your land back. Where's California? California belongs to Mexico. Texas belongs to Mexico. New Mexico belongs to Mexico. When they gonna give me my land back, my brother? Bring it up. They don't like me. It's all right. I understand, but God likes me. God loves me. I'm all right. So, so what you gotta do, my brother, before you leave? Like I said, you gotta throw that thing away. You should throw it away in the tray. Like, throw it on the floor. We can step on it together, and then we good. Why you wanna hold on to it so bad, my brother? I just wanna know. I can't, man. Basically, this will kept me going, bro, ever since I got, came home from jail. You from where? I Ever since you. I came home from... Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm coming. Ever since I came home from jail, I wear, jail? yeah, I wear every day and this. So you think, you think, you think uh, a white Jesus gave you, got you out No, no, I never said Who that. paid for your bond? Or did you serve your time? <laughs> you serve your time, right? Somewhat. Yeah. You serve your time? Last thing, last thing, last scripture for you. For that, for that comment, Wisdom of Solomon 13, last verse. Yes, sir. This is, this is going into the idol. Watch what it says about the idol. Because what happens when, when, when you get on an airplane, when people have a cross, what they do? They do this, right? Yeah. They make a goal. Bah! They be like, you ever see the soccer players that get down and they be like, you know what I'm saying? They always do the cross symbol. You want to know why? Let's see what the Bible says. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, and verse 19. Verse 18. For health, he calleth upon that which is weak. So it says for health. So when you're sick, right? Let's say your mom is sick and you give her that cross that you have on your neck and she diagnosed with stage five cancer, whatever. Is she going to make it just because she got a cross on your neck? No. Because that piece of wood is dead. Once you chop it off the house, remember, remember, if a tree fall, if a piece of branch falls on the ground, what happens to the stick? It's dead. There's no more life in it. That has no life in it. Read. For life, pray unto that which is dead. It says for life, you pray to something that's dead. Because that's a dead piece of wood with a piece of metal on it. So, you know, that's how some people have their little rose beads. So you're praying to it and it can't help you, my brother. You can get shot in the head with a cross in your hand. Right, read. For aid. Humbly beseeches that which have least means to help. It says for aid. You want financial aid? You want, you want a better job? You grab the cross and you start praying to it. God said that can't help you. God can get you a better job. You want to know why? If you keep his commandments, God said your ways shall be prosperous. That's right. You can get a better job if you keep his commandments. Read. And for a good journey, he acts as the that which cannot set a foot forward. So if you put that cross on the floor right now, it says it can't go forward. It can't move. Somebody got to pick it up, right? So it says you, for a good journey, right before you get on the airplane, you do this. But it can't help you. The plane is the only reason you don't die when it, if it doesn't crash. Because the pilot did his damn job, that's why you're there. When you get out of the damn plane, you should tell the pilot, hey, good, good flying, bro. Good flying. Hey, man, I'm glad I made it to the Bahamas. You don't give credit to a damn cross. That's right. When you got out of jail, my brother, you did your time. That was you being patient in there. That's you. Give yourself credit because you did your punishment and you good. Now you come out and be a great man. Don't give it to no damn white Jesus, my brother. That's, that's, like, right. that's like you buying him a gift for Christmas and telling him a white man did it and jumped down the chimney and gave him a, a present underneath the tree. But who went to Toys R Us? Who went to Target? You! Who wrapped up the box? You! But you giving credit to a white man, man. That's what I'm telling you. You should throw that thing away. I hope you throw it away, man. I'm gonna pray for you. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time.